Hi, I'm Jason. Welcome to another quality video from appliancevideo.com. Today we are working on this Whirlpool freestanding range. We will show you how to remove and replace the power cord and terminal block. To begin this repair, we must first access the rear of the unit and remove the rear lower panel. Stop. Before beginning any repair, be sure to always disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Now that we have access to the back of the range, we're going to start by taking the two screws out to hold on the cover. I'm going to pull down on the cover and pull out. Now, some reasons why you might be replacing your cord is one, the, either the machine didn't have one when you got it and you need to install one, or two, sometimes these nuts, if they don't get installed tight, they will create a lot of heat and melt your wires in your terminal block. So you're gonna start by unscrewing the 3 8 nuts that hold the wires on. And then there's some cords will have a, an extra green ground wire that you will have to take off as well. And take your cord and set it off to the side. Now to take off the terminal block, there are a couple more nuts that hold the wire harness to the oven on the, the block. Take these nuts off. Your black and red wires are always going to be on the side and your white wire is your neutral wire and that will always be in the center. So once you got those nuts off, pull your wires off. And then there are two screws that hold the terminal block on. Pull those screws out. Take your terminal block and set it aside. To install your terminal block, take your new terminal block, take your screws from your old terminal block, screw it into the back of the oven. Take your harness from your oven, making sure that the red and the black are on the sides. It doesn't matter what side. That is your power coming in. And then your white is going to go in the center and that is your neutral. Install the nuts for the wire harness. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get these good and tight because if you don't get them tight, it'll create a loose connection and it'll create a lot of resistance and create heat and it'll melt your wires in your terminal block. Now you're gonna take your new cord Fish the wires up through the little hole here. Now, depending on the kind of cord you have, you're either gonna have three wires or four wires. The extra green wire is nothing more than an extra ground wire. Uh, that ground wire is gonna go to the frame of the appliance. So right down here where you have a screw that holds the ground on for the terminal block is where you're gonna put this ground wire. Now that you got your ground installed, you're gonna put your red wire with the red, your neutral white with white, and your other power black with black. Install your 3 8 nuts. And 
And again, you're going to want to make sure you have these on nice and tight. Now install the rear cover. Put your tabs in the holes. Push up. And install your two screws at the bottom. And that completes the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.